Do you like counting, maths, or even science? Then check out this next story. This is the story of Katherine Johnson from West Virginia in America, who was a NASA mathematician. Judging by the way Katherine took to maths, you would think it was her first language. As a child, she counted everything. At school, she even skipped seven years and graduated ahead of her older siblings. Catherine was also the first African-American woman to attend a graduate school at West Virginia University. Catherine decided on a career as a research mathematician, although this was a difficult field for African-Americans and women to enter due to segregation laws at the time. So Catherine became a maths teacher before she was finally accepted by NASA Langley Research Center as a research mathematician. In a time before there were digital calculators, mobile phones, or even computers, the men and women who performed the calculations were considered the computers. One of Catherine's first assignments was to calculate the flight path for a mission into space to send an astronaut to the moon. In 1962, John Glenn, the first American to orbit Earth, refused to launch without verification that Catherine herself had double-checked the maths. Even when mechanical computers were introduced, Catherine was still seen as crucial and her work influenced the Apollo moon landing and every major space program up until that point. In 2015, President Obama awarded Catherine the Presidential Medal of Freedom, America's highest civilian honor. He even quoted that Catherine Johnson refused to be limited by society's expectation of her gender and race while expanding the boundaries of humanity's reach. There has since been three computational research facilities opened and named in honor of Catherine G. Johnson. And a satellite launched into space in November 2020, named after Catherine in a tribute of her legacy. So remember, the next time you count or do your maths, that might just help an astronaut get to space. Or you may be able to go yourself. Hope you enjoyed the video.